The Chart of the Week is presented by Glassnode, the leading on-chain intelligence platform. In today's Chart of the Week, we're spotlighting the new investor Confidence in Trend metric. Recently developed by Glassnode's analysts, this tool offers an in-depth perspective on the sentiment of recent market entrants, also referred to as the short-term holder cohort. So there are two key concepts which are central to this metric. And the first is MVRV, which captures the unrealized profit or losses of short-term holders, and also SOPA, which delves into the realized domain and reflects the actual profit or loss on coins that are being locked in and transacted by this group. From taking these two cost basis models and merging them, we've designed an oscillator which tracks the short-term holders' confidence in the prevailing price trend. So just to give you a super simple breakdown of this chart, this blue line here is the cost basis for all the new investors. And as it derives from MVRV, it represents the cost basis for coins with an unrealized profit or loss, which are still being held by short-term holders. The orange line here, however, represents the cost basis of coins that have been acquired and spent by short-term holders. So in other words, it shows where these coins originated from in terms of cost. And we can see from the chart that if the cost basis of spenders surpasses that of the holders, it's very much a sign of positive sentiment. And we can see that reflected here and also in Bitcoin's price. Whereas if the cost basis of spenders is lower than that of the holders, it's a case of the opposite. Looking at this long run down from the top of the last ball, we can see that it stayed below the entire time, signaling much more of a negative sentiment. So in practical terms, what does this mean for the traders of the current market? With the crypto community currently buzzing around the potential approval of Bitcoin spot ETFs in the US, it's easy to assume a general optimism. And what this metric offers is much more of a tangible measure of new investor sentiment. So with that in mind, if we zoom in on the current action, we can see we have a crossover here, hinting at a growing confidence in the price trend among short-term holders. And while this is quite a noteworthy shift as the spenders have broken above, we're still really in somewhat of a neutral zone. So by keeping a close eye on this oscillator, we can have another gauge on the collective sentiment of new investors, a group well known for its swift reactions to market moves. And that makes this indicator a crucial tool for understanding their collective mindset. So that's a wrap for this chart of the week, folks. We also want to briefly invite you to explore two of our new landing pages that show how institutional investors can use on-chain analysis for specialized use cases, such as quantitative trading and risk management. We'll be back again next week as we continue to explore the current market dynamics through on-chain data.